Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> what have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Welcome to RV Daydream. Look at Heidi lounging. My day off. It's her day off. I gotta go back and forth to my mom. She broke her ankle. Yeah. Or Tulsa. Tullus. Tullus. Tulsa. We're now gonna get that at. She, bro she broke her Oklahoma. <laughs> right? The Tulsa, Oklahoma? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, her mom had slipped on these little steps they have going from a family room down into um, into the garage anyways they're only like a couple steps and they're carpeted and everything so anyways her yeah her mom's 75 she'll be 76 this year I think she'll be 77 she's 76 yeah I thought she was 75 well, she Ooh. was last year <laughs> She gets around really good. Yes, yeah, she does. This is holding her up. She don't like it. Yeah, she can't stand it because now she got she can't do her gardening and she can't push mow or trim or whatever she wants to do. So, um, jumping into RV daydream, what you doing? Uh, we just posted that last video. Uh, it was an hour long, um, and hopefully I'll post this one. You'll be seeing this one <laughs> a little bit uh, less time involved. Be between the beginning and the end there um, we just got caught up with stuff so we still have it as we mentioned or I mentioned in the last one we still haven't um, got all the info that we will I'm assuming by the end of this RV daydream video that we will be able to disclose a little bit about it but again we have talked about it we've we've alluded to let me let's see how we can give them a hint we said, like I had mentioned in the last video, the last RV Daydream What You Doing video, we had said back on one of our first few videos that we ever shot, we were sitting in the Terry camper, and the hint is that we were a certain type of a camper for the most part. We knew that we were most likely going to be a certain type of camper, so... That's what I'll leave that at. All right, let me uh, show you what's going on today to some extent. First of all, we slept in the RV last night because it's... Nice and comfy. Yes, um, and it's probably going to be the last night for a few nights that we could sleep out there without having air conditioning. Yeah, because right now it is actually... Uh, 80? It is... Seven. Yeah, I think it's saying 80 degrees. I don't know if you guys can see that. But 80 degrees, the humidity is at 60%. Not not too bad on the percentage of humidity right now. But Phew, it's a little warm. No, it's not. Okay, maybe I'm having a yeah. flash. I don't care. <laughs> you don't care. It's, it could be 90 and 80% humidity. And that would be about when it's, I could say, ooh, it's getting a little sticky out here. <laughs> I wanted to talk about this stuff, first of all. Uh, I'll be doing some sort of a video, I'm sure. This is a license plate bracket. Why would I need a license plate bracket? Because our current tail lights on the RV house uh, a two screw license plate bracket. So why would we need a license plate bracket? Because I'll be upgrading the tail lights on this one uh, with the same tail lights we had on that 92 Terry because as Heidi. They're nice. They're they're nice lights. Well well right. uh, of course, there'll be links in the description on this video. I'll put links in the description on the next video. They're probably some of the nicest lights that um, I think that you could buy for an RV. I don't remember how much they were, like $70, but still. Okay, going back to something else. Boing, boing, boing. This is uh, Heidi's doing. Okay, I'm straining on this. First of all, the stuff stinks. The bag stinks. We're gonna have to sit out in the sun. Yeah, that's what I'm getting ready to do. Is sticking out in the sun. Um, we bought the Anderson levelers for our camper. When we bought them, there was just, you know, two of them. Well, two's okay if you're leveling one side of your camper. But we've been in the situation like you've seen at West Branch. Go check Lots out that video. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, to where we've had to. In the one side in particular, we have to raise the entire RV so that we can level it front to rear. Now, our old RV, it was real bad on the old RV because it sat so low to the ground, there was only so much you could drop it. Um, so again, we would have to raise the RV 
to lower the front low enough that it was level from front to rear. This RV is much taller and you would think that it would be easier to do that. However, it's also much longer. So it's kind of in the same situation. So we wanted to get levelers. They're rated for much heavier RVs. Not only that, but you can just kind of throw them in the bag. The bag that they give you doesn't require that whole puzzle situation. So let's go ahead and uh, set these things out and kind of compare them between the two. So here's the two. And uh, I'll be releasing a video on these two kits here um, and what I think about it. But let me just tell you the hint. Uh, this one's a winner. This one's a winner. This one's not a loser. This is definitely first place. Definitely. And the thing is, is because of the marketing and advertising and everything with this company, they charge a little bit more and you see them all over YouTube and a lot of people use them. I wish I would have found this company first. So we're going to get another set of these and uh, maybe somebody will get those that might appreciate them more than we do. It's just, this is better. They're better all the way around. They're heavier, lifetime warranty. They're cheaper. They're easier to get in and out of the bag. Um, they're built better. I mean, you can see there's more reinforcement on this stuff. Uh, that I had to scale out. Again, you'll have to check the video for all the details. But, yeah, Beach Lane. Link will be down below in this video, too. It's a new day, YouTube. What a wonderful day in the neighborhood. I feel like Mr. Rogers every time I come through the door doing that um today's gonna be a productive day i can feel it um you know what else i can feel <laughs> it's summer yeah so it's 9 a.m uh the humidity's showing 65 percent and on the porch here it is 81 degrees outside it's about 70 something i believe but it's going to be 80 today it's going to be 80 the next day. It's going to be 80 the next day. It's going to be 80 the next day. It's going to be almost 80 the next day. <laughs> oh, what did we do? Yeah, that's what we did. That's why it's going to be a productive day. We don't have very much more to do, but we do. Let me rephrase that. We have a lot to do, but from this point forward, I feel pretty comfortable that it's pretty easy. Um, we got to put the harmonic balancer on. Um, and then the uh, I got a high flow thermostat. Uh, we'll put that in. But we found out that his his accelerator, when you put it to the floor in his van, it don't even open up the throttle blades all the time, all the way. So I've got to figure out what's going on with his linkage and what I need to adjust for that. Um, which that kind of sucks. We also um, I've got a bypass for this air pump because this air pump, I mean it's it works, but it's not good I mean it's it, it robs some power um, and then that means we got to pull get rid of one of his catalytic converters because that catalytic converter needs to see air being pumped into it to to run hot uh, this van's got two catalytic converters on it I don't know what's going on there um, but the good news is we have that done uh, the other thing I'm going to do is cap off the bottom of his radiator cap off this part of his radiator um, I've got caps around here I'm sure I've got a couple that might fit there from radiators I bought in the past and uh, we're gonna fill that with vinegar and we'll set it out in the Sun for the day and uh, basically kind of do a poor man's hot tank um, cleaning uh, get it cleaned out I, I'm sure it's okay it's just I want to get really clean because he did buy a new fan clutch uh, for his uh, for his van and uh, after we do that we got even more work um, we still have to do the rear suspension on this uh, he has or I bought for him and then I told him I said once we get it mounted he can pay me back uh, a rear sway bar uh, for the the van didn't have one originally so we have a sway bar to mount on there we have to put all new shocks on here and we also have to put uh, rear leaf spring helpers on here uh, that'll help get his van leveled back out again because it's definitely um, it's definitely not riding the way that it should I, I didn't want to lift the back end though without putting a sway bar uh, I just don't want that thing to bounce around like a, a bobblehead it's a mowing day but I don't even got a mower <laughs> and the grass is really tall I would never I would never leave the grass this tall mm -mm, mm -mm. nope not happening so uh, it'll be interesting to see what the uh, landscapers do that we have. 
Um, the other thing is, is uh, the guy across the street, I have no idea what's going on there. I hope they didn't fall on hard times. Um, that business, uh, somebody at that business owns or has a, a, a brush hog, uh, a John Deere brush hog with a front end loader. And I don't know, there was a, a, like a year, one year or two years that they used that brush hog to clear out that grass. Last year, there was a guy that would uh, come up with his van and he would do a little bit of mowing around the building and then he would get on that brush hog, even though it wasn't his, and he would take care of the uh, of the field, basically. Um, and it always looked good over there. I mean, they spent money on the trees. Uh, I mean, it's it always looked good over there. So now we've got uh, somebody that's been doing this just on and off with no. It, it's just been whimsical, you know. Just whatever. I don't even know how to describe it. So. There's a few things I'm curious about. If the mower's gonna last, if the deck belt's gonna last, if the engine's gonna last, if the drive train is going to last, is his skin going to last underneath this sun? And is the daylight going to last? Because that is way too much grass for one mower to be doing all of that. Look at all of this field across the street and he's going to mow it with that i'm no expert but i don't well, think the answer is all the above he's got his trailer loaded with his mower and he is going to string trim around some poles in that and that is it yeah uh it isn't getting done the way it used to. Good morning, YouTube. We're into a new day, and it's lovely, lovely, lovely. The uh, van didn't get quite finished. We're still waiting on a couple of parts, mainly an air conditioning air compressor. <laughs> the uh, van uh, had an air compressor on it, obviously. It was a complete system, but it sat so long, uh, I think a seal went bad in it or something. The fact that I have the air compressor on order and it hasn't been received is because Memorial Day and I've been complaining to the uh, lady that works at the auto parts store <laughs> and she says I don't I can I don't, I don't ship the parts she goes I just order them <laughs> so that's one of the things um, of course we could do that with more assembled on the van than what currently is but uh, the other thing we need to do is I uh, got rid of the air pump and I need to uh, get rid of the catalytic converter, as I mentioned, or may not have mentioned, um, after the air pump in, where it injects air into the exhaust. So that needs to be done. And that's always exhaust. If you guys don't know, um, exhaust always sucks to work on. Unless you have a pipe bender and a welder and it's up on a lift and uh, it's perfect weather and there's no rust. Um, it, it just doesn't ever seem to go very smoothly whenever you're trying to piece stuff together. So as you guys can see, there's our Tuesday lawn pros. They're going to park over here at the neighbors, and they're going to bring their zero turns over. I'm assuming that's what they have, and they're going to do our lawns. That's kind of cool. It seems odd having somebody mow our lawn. <laughs> I mean, it just seems kind of weird. Uh, we've never had that. Actually, we did. When we first bought our house, um, our uh, Heidi's grandmother had a um, mowing service uh, that was taking care of it. And for the first month that we lived here, the mowing service continued to take care of it. So I stopped filming because I realized how not cool having somebody else mow your lawn was. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but... I can't I can't deal with this it is so hard to keep grass from growing in the gravel driveways you cannot be throwing grass in the driveway as you see here grass all up on top of there I <laughs> I don't even know about this all this all this grass up here that wasn't there but this is where I have a problem this this doesn't work Look at all this grass that they threw in the driveway here, all over his tires, 
and all over the side of his van. I don't know if this is coming out on camera, but he, hell, they got grass all the way up to here. There, there's grass all over. I, I can be having them throw grass on the vehicles that are here. And yeah, what other vehicles could they possibly throw grass on? Our RV! Jesus Christ, Look at this. None of this was here. None of this. Man, I, I must be just a picky old guy or something. But this is wrong. Wait till I tell Heidi and that's who's calling right now. Can you tell? I know this is boring for you guys. I mean, this is like home ownership blues. <laughs> uh, but anyways, Heidi called the guys that uh, that does the, you know, the, all the... The, the, the main guy that owns the company that she knows and she says do you guys normally throw the grass all over the cars in the driveway and he goes no he was really upset he said that the guys that came and mowed this lawn is the guys that he calls his spare guys and he's using them to catch up uh, because they're behind apparently well why they're behind I don't know I don't care none of that crap anyways getting back to the story um, he says you got pictures and she said yeah he goes, well, send me the pictures. He goes, uh, he goes, that's that's not right. <laughs> so I basically wiped down everything. Um, the, the RVs wiped down, the vans wiped down, the front of Heidi's cars wiped down, um, except the van around the tire. I'm going to use my air gun. I, I, the air gun will maybe help the driveway out, but I need like a blower to go clear out the end of the driveway for sure. Well, this guy's going to try to trim all the grass across the street. Good luck with that because... Quite honestly, I don't see that. Look how tall it is over there, guys. Look at where he's already trimmed, like around that sign. Wow, good luck with that. All right, Heidi's getting ready to go to work. How nice is that? We've got storms moving in, so I've got to put the slides in because we're going to have gusts up to 45 miles an hour, so they say. But Heidi's closing the store, and we've got some big news that uh, we alluded to on our last video and uh, we have to allude to on this video because it'll be a complete separate video um, which is fun it's fun 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 things are, changing. things are finally going in the direction we want them to go with our hard work yeah yeah it was a lot of hard work a few years worth even yeah. um, I'm glad we did it this way I mean, we could have just jumped into this and we could have been doing it the whole time, but I'm glad we did it because now we're doing it the whole time in a much different way. We need to get rid of our house fast. Yeah, yeah. That's the one thing that I don't want to deal with anymore. Yeah, because that's just going to be negative. Money. Yeah, it's just going to pull money out. So, yeah, Not a lot, I just got to readjust all the stuff. I helped my, my mom and my stepdad buy a... Uh, 2020 Ford Escape <laughs> the other day so it seemed kind of odd we're shopping for new cars again it's like well this is deja vu <laughs> but everybody say bye Heidi as she heads to the the I workplace the seat all the way up yeah it's so short yeah we don't have adjustable pedals which it still it works right good. all right see all you right, later love you, love you too Uh, so, as far as our son's van and what's going on with that, um, yes, you can for a dollar fifty. This thing is really loud when it first starts up, then it gets quiet. She stole a kiss from me, and it's filthy. It needs washed. So, yeah, I got to put the slides in and take down that other thing, the uh, antenna. Okay, back to the van, what I was saying. I don't know if you can, hey, let me show you guys this. I don't know if you ever noticed this before. Now, yeah, the environment and all that stuff, I know what you're saying. Um, I've done this in the past on vehicles. All this that you see in the driveway that is not gravel, this is what's inside your catalytic converter. Um, since we bypassed his air pump, I can't have the catalytic converter not getting the air that's needed to keep this media red hot so it burns off the fuel that uh, is unburned that comes out of the engine engines aren't necessarily efficient enough 
to get rid of all the particles and uh, all the uh, contaminants that may pass through it. Now this thing has a, a catalytic converter on the Y pipe that does not have air inject, you know, air injection, and then it has another catalytic converter um, that does have air injected. And since we got rid of the air pump, we can't inject air into it, so we have to do this. I don't know if you can see it, but get an idea. So basically, um, we cut that pipe, made it real nice and shiny, cut that pipe, and then busted up the, the catalyst that's inside. And uh, then, of course, revved up the engine and blew it all out. Like I said, I've done this in the past. Um, nice thing is, look at this. It's just like uh, seashells or something. They're very, very small particles. I'm sure you're going to say something about the environment now. Oh, it can cause cancer and all kinds of stuff and whatever. I have to weld that pipe back because those storms are coming. We want to get this off. This It's been up on these ramps too long. Well, I got caught in the rain a little earlier today doing that weld. <laughs> and it just started pouring all over me, my welder. Look at all this stuff. Crunch, crunch. So anyways, our sun's just buckling it up the last little bit. You happy this crap's gonna be done? Yeah. He uh he's trying to beat what rain is coming. Believe it or not, we're gonna have more coming. Oh look, there's a little short fifth wheel. Alright, so here we go. Your first startup, but you can hear what it sounds like. <laughs> Because it does have just one catalytic converter now. That's not too bad. Not bad at all. I don't think that's too loud. Yeah, it's going to be hunting and trying to figure out the idle with that air conditioning on quite a bit. But yeah, the beast is together. And my crappy weld worked. Which I'm shocked about that. So it's all finished. It's all done. Like I said, there's still some stuff we got to do. Um, but as far as the engine and the water pump the, and all that timing cover and all that part is all good to go. Thank God. He'll be happy. Well, we figured this was going to happen again. Actually, it rained a little bit earlier, then it stopped. So there's not much going on. Um, you can see our son's van's there. I took it out for a test drive. Um, he went to go back to bed. He was up all night. His sleep's all jacked up. Uh, for whatever reason, he has a tendency to um, fall into being up all night and sleeping most of the day. Um, he can switch that, and he's had, but anyways, he, he's stuck on that right now. So, uh, we got in touch with the gravel guy. I forgot to talk about that. Let me turn off this fan. My shoes were wet, so there we go. Um, we got in touch with the gravel guy. He said he's going to be here next week. And uh, you can basically see some of these bare spots. I'll go ahead and I'm going to take photos of it. And I should say bare spots. They're just low spots. Um, we'll have him uh, maybe put a little bit extra there uh, especially down in that area by the van and uh, maybe over here by the garage underneath the RV is actually okay believe it or not it's just um, uh, there's grass growing there because it used to be a non paved area or non graveled area so we just need to kill the grass again but more importantly than anything is uh, again what we were talking about we want to put a pad out here um, I know this seems kind of ridiculous because we're going to be selling relatively soon, but it's not going to hurt the property value. It's not very much money. I'm thinking we're probably going to be in the $400 range. Uh, that's about what it was last time to do this entire driveway. 
with gravel was four hundred dollars so i'm guessing probably a little high but when he asked i said uh, probably the same amount of gravel I, which i don't know but we're going to put a big heavy base first and then he's going to put the small stuff like he did you know with this out here we've been real happy with the gravel um but the reason that we're doing that is uh, again the truck's a little longer and as it was I was using that backyard going in and out and backing in so as long as we have this house you know we're, we're going to be parking the RV here on and off um, you know maybe we might be in a situation where we won't be here for three months four months I don't know but when we do come back if the house is still the way it is um, you know not sold basically <laughs> uh, we're going to um, you know utilize that to back in the RV or we may even park the RV we might be starting to park it in front of the shed over there because we Heidi and I is talking about it and it might be a good idea basically um, like I mentioned uh, on a couple of clips here and I think the last video too so many videos into our whole RV daydream channel we talked about uh, something that we were pretty sure that uh, was going to be the direction that we were going to head and we made a, uh, a a step towards that direction what Heidi and I are thinking is that she has her surgery next week real excited about that to get that over with hopefully everything goes great with that and there's no issues um, after that she has recovery time off of course all that recovery time doesn't require her to you know lay in bed that kind of a thing they'll should there'll be some days that she'll be you know recovering just kind of relaxing um, maybe you know even uh, up to a week and then she'll still have some time off and you know her and I will have a game plan as far as what we're wanting to do um, with the house getting it a little bit closer to where we want it uh, ultimately what we'd like to do is have a yard sale um, which we could actually do that if it wasn't for the fact that I have a few things you know to still do with the RV um, of course I've talked about them a thousand times set up the hitch for the new truck to match this RV uh, that's going to take a little bit of time that I'll probably have about two hours in that making sure I get it just right um, and even then I might have to make adjustments after the fact the other thing we'd have to do at that point then we have two things that we have to do with the the RV one of them is get those new trailer tires installed, those Goodyear Endurance tires, get those installed instead of what we currently have on there. And the other thing is, is we still have a recall, an outstanding recall on the slide roof, on the super slide. Um, something to do with the uh, hot and cold and, and uh, the potential for the, the roofing material to come up or to come loose or something to that effect. I don't see any signs of it, but I, I don't know. Um, I guess there's some sort of a prep that they have to do to make sure that doesn't happen. So we still have to do that too. Um, when we'll get that done, I'm not sure, but nonetheless, once those two things are done, then we have uh, some stuff to do with the truck, and that's namely, I got to get the CB on the truck. Um, I, I know a lot of you are saying a CB what in the world <laughs> I've talked about it in the past um, on past videos but you know we like to have a CB we like to you know have the ability if we're stuck in traffic for miles on end to hear what the truckers are saying other than them talking their smack and you know whatever else is going on it, it's nice to know you know truckers send you hey you're dragging your spare tire or you know your bicycle fell off that kind of thing um, we're still, we still have full intentions of getting a generator for the back of the RV uh, mounted. Um, you know, of course, we have a generator, and uh, I have a generator box. Um, I still have to modify the generator box, but even if I modify the generator box, I have no way to mount it on the back of the RV yet. So uh, that's something that I've got to, you know, look forward to at some point. But after all those things are done, um, we'll, we'll be free for the most part for our RV to, to travel, and of course. Um, once again, Heidi surgery recovery time's over with. Uh, hopefully, we got a lot of stuff done during that time. This puts us uh, near the um, middle of June, somewhere in the middle of June, uh, maybe after the second week of June, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, and Heidi will be, uh, of course, 
uh, going back to work. She'll have a few days that she'll be working or or uh, I think a week or so, a week and a half or so, so maybe it's closer to the end of June. And then at that point, um, we have our vacation at Pirate Land, which again, if you guys are planning on attending, please send us an email, shoot us an email, let us know. Um, if not, if, if you show up last minute or whatever, that's fine too. Um, if you don't want to go out, a lot of, a lot of people, and I'm one of them too, kind of leery, kind of leery about getting around people, trust me. When we go um, and we're at the campgrounds, I'm not going to be up on top of everybody. Now, don't get offended. I used to shake everybody's hands. I used to give people hugs. That's not happening. It's just not my thing. Not now. I, I am scared to death of that. Uh, as far as wearing face mask, I, I don't care if you guys wear face mask or not. Um, I hope you don't care if I wear a face mask or not. I mean, on some level, I, I want to enjoy myself, and I I understand we we got a lot of people from a lot of different parts of the country that are all coming together that could potentially infect each other. But you know, social distancing. Um, I'll take my chance without the mask uh, infecting somebody else if I'm some kind of an immune carrier, and uh, I you know expect the same uh, you know from everybody else. Just mind your distance. I mean, you guys need to know what six foot really is. You know, <laughs> a lot of people, they think as long as they stand so far away that it's okay. But no, six foot, that's that's a little bit of a distance. And even then, you know, if you're going to cough or something, make sure you kind of cough in your sleeve or whatever they tell you to do. That's what I do at least. Um, but after that, then that's going to put us into August. And uh, Heidi will have uh, a short time after that that she'll be done. Um, once she's done in August, um, the house, I, I'm still expecting the house to be here. I'm still expecting to have a bunch of stuff that we need to get rid of. I'm still expecting that uh, maybe the house isn't exactly in the condition that we want it to be to sell. Um, I'm also expecting not necessarily to bust my butt and, um, you know, worry about leaving only when the house is completely sold and empty and, and everything's gone. Um, there's no reason, as, as long as we can afford the, the little bit that it costs to run this household, um, it'll be even less when we're not here because I'll, I'll turn off the high-speed internet. Um, you know, I won't need it anymore. I will, um, you know, we won't be running the kind of utilities that we normally do. Of course, we'll still cool the house um, and in the winter heat the house. Uh, but all those things will be set at a much lower deal. Now, the high-speed internet, when I talk about it, uh, we'll still have the internet in the house because that way I can still communicate with all the cameras. I can communicate with everything that's inside there. Um, it's just I'm not going to pay for the kind of speeds that I am currently, mainly for uh, downloading and uploading videos. Um, it's just not, not necessary. Of course, our son, he'll be here, he'll be doing his thing, and hopefully the, uh, the lawn care company um, steps it up. We're giving him one more shot, uh, so we'll have to see how that works out. All right, I've talked long enough on this thing. <laughs> I think I'm going to close this out. Let's see if we can chop this up, make it a relatively short one. And again, look for that other video. I should start into it here pretty soon, and uh, hopefully I can get it up within the next week. And it's going to tell you know tell you everything you need to know about um, about what we did. Uh, and uh, again, I think it's a good thing. Oh, by the way, we posted a picture on our Facebook page, um, kind of hinting towards the same thing. Hinting, pictures, picture, hint. Anyways, I'll let it go with that. I'll talk to you guys later, and we hope to see you out there. Bye.